Hi everybody, I'm Jen with opensource.com and I have a brand new top five articles of the week for you. And this is um, kind of a special edition. I have on my opensource.com brand new hat that I got this week at All Things Open. Um, our whole team went to All Things Open. It's in Raleigh, North Carolina, right around the corner from our offices at Red Hat Tower. And we just had a blast. We had our community moderators um, come into town, hang out with us, share some really great ideas with us. Um, and we also met some people at All Things Open who had some great ideas for articles um, and also were interested in writing for us. And we encourage you to write for us. If you've never written for us before, we take contributions from all over the community about a wide variety of topics related to open source and technology. Um, and if you want to see how we participated in All Things Open this week, um, you can check out our Instagram account. It's at Open Source Way, and also our Twitter account, which is also at Open Source Way. We'll probably have some stuff up up on Facebook as well if we haven't already. Um, and then I also want to mention that we are going to be publishing articles and videos around our lightning talk series that we uh, did actually yesterday around lunchtime. We had seven great five minute talks about various um, open source topics and those are just quick real fast videos so our readers tend to really love those and so we'll get those up as soon as we can on our YouTube channel and then have an article on the site as well that um, talks about it and explains it and presents it in a nice format for you. All right so um, all Things Open, great. Can't recommend it highly, more highly. Um, if you haven't been to it or um, considered it as an event to go to, um, do so in 2017. It will be back in October in Raleigh. All right, let's hop into the top five. At number five, 12 open source games for Android. In this article, we take a look at 12 of the best open source Android games from the F-Droid repository. I took a gander through this list, and my favorite game is Lexica, which is similar to Boggle. And it's probably not a surprise that my favorite game is a work game. All right, at number four, Python file management tricks for digital artists. This is just another great tip from our open source creative columnist, Jason Van Gumpster. He teaches you in this article how to manage your files with Python automation. At number three, MySQL and database programming for beginners. MySQL's community manager uh, was at All Things Open this week, um, which I was just chatting about, wrapped up this week. Um, in this interview, Dave Stokes highlights some of his favorite tips and resources for MySQL beginners. At number two, distributing encryption software may break the law. In this article, J.D. Bean writes, Developers, distributors, and users of free and open source software often face a host of legal issues which they need to keep in mind. One area that often escapes notice is export controls. It may come as a surprise that sharing software that performs or uses cryptographic functions on a public website could be in violation of U.S. export control law. Learn more about what that means in this article. And finally, at number one, three open source time management tools. My esteemed colleague and I gave a talk at All Things Open this past week about open source productivity hacks. And prior to it, Jason Baker wrote this helpful article of free and open source tools for tracking your time using these methods. A Pomodoro timer, a time tracker, and a web activity tracker. All right, everybody, that's it for the top five this week. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.